this is Nick from Nintendo Dads here with a review of Radical Rabbit Stew. We want to give a big thanks to publisher Sold Out and developer Pugstorm for giving us a code so that we could get you fine folks a review. Radical Rabbit Stew is a funky mashup of environmental puzzler and top-down action game. The story, well that story is just about as funky. The Rabbit Queen, here goes by the way, the Rabbit Queen was tired of her tasteless veggies, so she had her rabbit minions come and raid the famous space diner, capturing all the space chefs, leaving only the cleaning boy to venture out and save all his space chef friends. How do you do that? Well, of course, by journeying through the land and knocking all the Rabbit Queen minions into stew with your cooking spoon. This game has obvious callbacks to old school top-down Zeldas, with the heart system, the sounds the game makes when you find a new item, even making a crack when you find your first full heart saying, at least it's not a quarter of a heart. These moments are fun, and the writing is pretty good, along with some quirky animations like sending rabbits into pots of stew that rocket off into space. Radical Rabbit Stew is really three games in one. There's a single player mode, a versus couch co-op mode, and there's also a stage editor, where you can make your own levels. Single player mode could be fun, but in the second world there currently is a bug that closes out the software every time you beat it, making single player mode unbeatable. So that's pretty much a dud. Versus mode is pretty light on features. There's really just one game here. Up to four players battle it out on one of four different stages to see who can put the most rabbits in the pot. Don't get me wrong, this is fun, and the chaos is worth some laughs, but after a few rounds I found my crew was ready to move on to other things. Level editor is actually pretty intuitive and gives you a wide range of options for items to place. There is a cap on how many items and how big your world can be. Let's be honest, this is no Super Mario Maker, but for what it is, it seems pretty well done. Here's a simple end dead level I made, but you could get pretty in depth if you wanted to. Bummer part, the only way to currently show these off is with Couch Co. So here's the scoop on this game. The single player mode is really what stitches these other modes together. With that out of commission, this game really feels like bits and pieces. Also, this means the game is basically a Couch Co op only game unless you want to play your own levels you've created over and over. We've reached out to the publisher asking them about this bug, but have received nothing back about plans to fix it or when it even might happen. We will keep you posted. Hey, we hope this helps you make your decision on this game. Signing out. See you later. Game over, folks.